From out of the man cave and onto the air, it's your favorite voice of ecstasy. It's John St. John with the best morning after ever radio show. 30 some odd minutes of happenings, discussions, and full frontal nudity. So put your arms around your speakers. It's John St. John. Hey, good morning. Happy Thursday morning. This is John St. John, your wonderful host of the best morning after ever. Your wonderful morning radio show here at Slam Internet Radio and Spreaker.com, as well as, uh, I think we're on iTunes now. I've been checking, and I believe we're there. iTunes, YouTube, and, of course, Blog Talk Radio. But our home is definitely the northwest side of Chicago on Slam Internet Radio, 89.9 FM. And I'm here this morning with my awesome... Actually, I have, I'm blessed with two, two co-hosts, one of our stars of some of the other shows here on Slam Internet Radio. We have Gentleman G over in the corner... Good morning. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm in the corner. You know what I'm doing. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. perfect right for this corner. show. I don't want to see it, but that's cool. And then to my right, for people we don't have the cameras rolling, it's audio only on YouTube. But anyway, we've got uh, my special guest co-host, who I think if we can afford her, we keep talking about being able to have her in as well every week with us, uh, every day, I should say. Uh, Cynthia, Miss Cynthia. Good morning. Good morning. I'm, good morning. Good morning. I'm 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 hooked. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow or the next day. I, I'm glad you guys are awake because I'm falling asleep. The election wore me out this week, man. Whew. I still can't believe what happened. But uh, you know something uh, that kind of I was going to mention the other day, and we we ran out of time. And uh, gentleman G before the show was saying he's never heard of her, so I got to bring this up. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift again in the news. Uh, not only does she get off of Spotify, and she's only on iHeartMedia, but uh, the other day uh, she was a uh, topic of campaign conversation. But uh, for for uh, gentleman G's benefit, I think he saw a picture of her. She's pretty famous. She's in the top forty. Yeah, she looks pretty good to me. Yeah, and uh, pretty attractive young girl. She she hates men apparently. She did okay for herself. You know, she's a little misogynistic. She likes to uh, you know love them and leave them. She was dating the One Direction guy. She was dating... Uh, and that went the wrong direction, right? Yeah, she went the wrong direction with One Direction. <laughs> oh! That, that'd be cradle robbing, shot. though, wouldn't it be? Yeah, uh, yeah because she's bit. like 23 or something like that. And okay, maybe he's not like, that bad. But. He's only like 21, 20, something like that. No, I thought they were younger than that. But, but. Is she da- I think she dated... Uh, no, she didn't date the guy from Maroon 5 that's on The Voice. I don't Rob, know. I don't think she dated him. No, I think she might have dated. Like, she's been around. She's been around the block. Let's put it that way. Did she date like Jake Gyllenhaal? Jake Gyllenhaal? No, I don't think so. I think she did. Uh, if not, she should have. Yeah, I mean, everybody dates well, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal. Right? I almost yeah, did I once. Could, yeah, so did uh, yeah. so did uh, uh, Joker from the Dark Knight. Well, I wouldn't mm. call in, it a date, in uh, Brokeback but... Mountain. Oh, he, they completed each other. Yeah, they completed each other. That's cool. Ah, uh, yeah. What was that? Guy? Heath Ledger. Thank you, Heath, Heath Ledger, Ledger. The Joker. Yeah, so if uh, if Heath Ledger, I, Heath Ledger might have dated uh, Taylor Swift. But I, anyway, it's possible. The story, uh, and gentleman G didn't know about this, but I'm gonna just breeze over it. Uh, it's basically it was a sexist comment that uh, was made referencing Taylor Swift to the Iowa candidates, and uh, they thought it would actually influence the election. And I don't really think it had m- much to do, but it's kind of an interesting little side note to uh, bring up because I mean she's just. You know, she's making the news for everything these days. She's got 1989 as her top 40 album. She's not, it's like number one on the iTunes and, you know, iHeartMedia or whatever, all of the Billboard. I don't even know if they do Billboard anymore, but she's up there on yeah. all the top of all the lists. She's got sponsorships. Do they do, do, they do Billboard? I don't know. Anybody? Yeah, the no? Billboard still exists. Yes. Yeah, it's still around. Yes, okay. I, I've seen something from Billboard the other day. Uh, so there you go. So she's still, uh, you know, on the top of the charts. But anyway, uh, the Republican candidate, Joni Ernst, uh, basically got into this little argument with the, the exiting U.S. Senate Democrat candidate, Tom Harkin. Uh, you know, and she, she made a remark about she didn't think she was getting into a beauty pageant when uh, she threw her hat into the ring to run against the retiring senator, because Tom Harkin's been there for like 30 years. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, it, they ended up bringing her looks into the discussion. And uh, in a video released by BuzzFeed uh, last Sunday, actually Harkin was seen speaking before a crowd of supporters for Ernst's opponent, the Democratic candidate Bruce, uh, Bruce Bailey, and uh, during his speak, uh, his, his uh, you know his opining about the political scene and you know glad handling and talking about Har- uh, uh, the opponent, Harkin actually uh, initiated that uh, some support should be shown to Ernst because she's actually uh, one of the really attractive candidates, and that's just fine for the Republicans. 
And uh, basically, he then followed up with a comic that referenced to uh, 24-year-old uh, Taylor Swift. And it was, and I don't have the audio of it, but I'll at least talk to you about it. Uh, I don't care if she's as good-looking as Taylor Swift or as nice as Mr. Rogers, but if she votes like Michelle Bachman, she's wrong for the state of Iowa. So, uh, and Ernst actually was actually a lieutenant colonel in Iowa's Army National Guard, and uh, she actually hit back Monday with, you know, I was very offended that Senator Harkin would say that. I think it's unfortunate that he and many of their party believe you can't be a real woman if you're conservative and you're female. So, uh, you know. And she says if if uh, her name, you know, if my name had been John Ernst, it it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't have made a difference. So, so somehow Taylor Taylor Swift got pulled into the political scene over in Iowa. Would you ever watch Fox News? Well, yeah, every all, once those, in a while. all those all those ladies under are models. Ever watch them? They're all that one that took over for Hannity at eight o'clock. Oh, uh, uh, Megyn yeah. Kelly, Megyn Kelly. Thank you. I mean, she's she's up there on the list. And I was I'm, I was going to say Greta Van Susteren, well, but no, no, no they her. took her off. They said they. They, they moved no. her. Yeah. They moved her. Yeah, they, they kept her around. I like the girls on the on the five. That's an interesting. Yeah, well, show. That's, I think yeah. that's where that one came from, right? Mm, good question. I don't think so. I think Megan Kelly had her own show during the day. No. Well, she, yeah, I think so. Then she got promoted. Well, she got regardless, promoted. She, yeah, yeah, that's. But what, you know, I mean, they're talking about they're talking about a singer. I don't know why the what how, what is well, country Taylor music, Swift had right? to do you with said anything. She was country? Well, I know, but uh, not everybody country in Iowa's music country. Is more, country music's more towards the re, uh, uh, re, the, la, uh, the right. Yeah, I guess right. so. I mean, uh, when when George Bush was running for president, George W. He was using Lee uh, Lee Greenwood's song, which I actually really like. It doesn't sound country to me, but it's considered country. Proud to be an American, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. At least I know I'm free. You know, remember yeah. that song? I, uh, I, I think that it's a from the seventies. I think it's from the seventies. Probably from like the twenties. No, but that thing is rattling. I today. think it's from the early '80s, actually. But well, I mean, that song is not his song. It's, no, no, it's, it's not his song. It's Lee an Greenwood old song. Did, uh, it's I thought Lee he... Greenwood song. No, yeah, no, no, no. That's, that's, that's I sing that in, in grade school. Right. That's Pretty an old song. That's something that they. Lee Greenwood is from the '70s, I think. No, I don't know. If I, how old are you? I, I, I'm. I'm <laughs> I would have. Seventy-five. So it was, no, I kid. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, I, it's a pretty old song. I, a, I, I think that song was. I don't think he wrote it. Hmm. He may have sang it. Well, and whatever. Put his twist on it, but I don't think you, he you think that. Uh, but Taylor Swift it. is country, so you think that's why the Republican. Well, actually, it was the Democrats that were making fun of her, not the Republicans. So I don't know. Kind of weird. But anyway, yeah, they're just jealous. Moving on. It was election election uh, fodder. You know, just an interesting thing to talk a little bit about in the morning time and how it's kind of carrying over, still making the news. People are still counting the ballots. You know, but uh, something else is kind of cool. I wanted to bring up. Uh, uh, actually, it's our, our sponsor, uh, www.thesparkmaker.com, is having a special for the holidays. You have to just enter uh, Facebook 14 yeah, when you go to the site, and you get 10% off of anything you buy for your loved ones for the holidays. You know, There's some sexy stuff on there, stuff but there from, was, there's some rated PG-13. Stuff for mom and dad. I don't know about mom and dad, but maybe the girlfriend, the uh, wife, you know. Mom would like something. The boyfriend. Something. Dad and his mistress. Yeah. yeah. Our dad and his mistress, yeah. maybe. Okay. I don't I mean, think Larry's good. seen our sponsor's site. I, I think that's the problem. Maybe Gentlemen mom and G, her boy, too. TheSparkMaker.com. www.thesparkmaker.com. I check it out every, cha- every chance I get. It's the Facebook with a capital F, A-C-E-B-O-O-K, 14, and you'll get your discount. So enter that in when you're having your fun with them. But, uh, you know, and, and I talked about this on another show. You know, just because uh, they like country and they're conservative doesn't mean they can't enjoy, you know, a little fun in the bedroom every once in a while. They, so right. they still so. have sex, believe it or not. As I, long as I, it, I think they do. Somehow they procreate. They just do it, you know, a missionary, and that's it. And, as, well, they, I think the whole point is they got to be married and they got to have like 14 kids or else right. it doesn't count. As long as it was, uh, it's with their wives, I think it's it has okay. to be with one wife. When you start so. doing it with all the mistresses, that's when the problem comes in. Right. Or like the gay senators from, or the gay representative from Florida, when you do it with your pages, then, then you got a problem. Right. Remember that whole scandal about four or five years ago? Is that really a problem, you think? I mean, I didn't we know. blow that out of proportion? I guess like, he might have. He blew it out of yeah, proportion. I'm, yeah, I'm, he, <laughs> or the, the page did. Exactly. Where's that rim shot? <laughs> oh, our producer's <laughs> falling asleep over there. Uh, so, yeah, you know, there's some interesting stuff going on with uh, election story news these days. But, um, uh, yeah, so check out thesparkmaker.com, and uh, I think you'll enjoy what you see there. I don't want to talk about too much on the air. I don't want to give it away. Everybody go check it out. 
Right. You know, sometimes you got stuff for women and you got stuff for girls, right? Yeah. And, and you got to know what what you're what you're getting stuff for, right? Like what, especially what? Uh, looking on, you know, uh, sparkmaker.com, you got to know what kind of stuff you get girls and what kind of stuff you get women, right? You know, speaking of right. that, what an interesting segue. I think hmm? he was awake in the show prep. That what was happened? good. That was good. All right. Gentleman G, man. I am professional. He is a professional. Professional radio. Well, that TV. makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I I sort of went to school for this uh-huh. uh, many moons ago. Uh, but, you know, an interesting story, actually. Uh, ten signs you're dating a woman, not a girl. There's ten signs, only ten. Ten signs. This is an article that was uh, trending. You know, I always like to talk about stuff from the wonderful world of Facebook. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, so it's, uh, it's a new article. Let me uh, just highlight that real quick from EliteDaily.com. Now, there's only site. ten signs. There's not 11 or 12. There's I guess 10. there's not 11 or 12. I mean, if you want to think of 11 or 12... Uh, There's probably more, but you, you, you know what's funny? You, you go to you got the ten signs over there, and yeah. you're dating a girl. When I when I click on those links at on Facebook, mm-hmm. I, it'll stop at seven or six. I can't do all ten. Yeah, because it because it, your phone is too old. You can't you can't scroll down far enough. See, no, it's on it's on regular home. Like you, usually they'll show you like the ten hottest naked pictures of so and so. I know, and then they take you to a link that's broken or something. No, right? I, I get like six or four of them. I don't get the whole ten of them. You don't hmm. you don't understand them or you don't even get to see them. I don't get to see them. They stop for me for some reason. They I say, know. "Well, ten I've got naked, all ten. ten naked pictures of um, Beyonce or something like that." Oh, and now I'll here Larry four. says it, and here what? Guess what? I'm at number. Oh no, here's number nine and number ten. All right, so okay. let's do number. We're gonna go ten to one. So number, number ten. 10. No. <laughs> number ten. I feel like David Letterman here from the offices of Kearney, Nebraska. No, uh, girls need guardians. Women don't need anybody but themselves. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, sexier than a female who can take care of herself. Hmm. I agree with that. So girls need that? guardians. Yeah. Is that a clue, clue like when they go to the bathroom? I get, you know, they go in groups. Well, you know, yeah. yeah. You know. So they, why do they go to the bathroom together? I, I guess that's the they need their guardians because they're not a real, you know, they they're, they're not a real woman. I guess they want to feel safe. Well, Cynthia is the woman in the room. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, I believe that. Do, you, do you go in groups? I, I go by myself. Do you guys unzip each other's? Oh, I won't. Uh, no, it hasn't happened to me yet, but, you know, we do talk. You mm. know, and but I, I personally like to go to the bathroom myself. Uh, well, according to this, women like to take what they want and don't need any anyone to help them get it. They're strong, confident, independent, and women are the future girls of the past. So I don't and know if you, that sums up this whole article. I and that's, that's number nine. Yeah, number nine. Number nine is no. That was, just, that was number ten. Uh, that was the part of number ten. But number nine is girls stick to what they know. Women are always searching to widen their horizons. Hmm. Yeah. So women are more experienced in life. They understand the importance of experience in life. They do their best to see the world. They meet people. They explore possibilities. They're passionate and driven. And uh, women do take life by the horns. Where girls, you know. And I don't know when do you become a woman. What's the age? I guess that there, we'll, you know, we could talk about that a little bit. But. I don't think there's an age group. I, I mean, I don't think there's an age gr- age value on it. I mean, I've met I've met fifty year old girls, and I've met you know twenty two year old women. So well, gr- I can't really <laughs> honestly tell you. Gr- girls so. aren't really sure what their purpose is. They're hoping to find a man that can take care of them. Basically, sounds like my friend. Well, they want a man until they got a guy, one. Actually. Well, and, and then if they get a good man, they don't want them. They want that guy that's gonna <laughs> right. This next one's kind of funny. Girls eat salads. I'm just moving right along. Girls eat salads. Women eat whatever the hell they want. That's a 100 percent true. <laughs> what's, the, what's the whole girly thing? You're trying to keep you. Uh, You're keep trying a certain to keep look? yourself, you know, fit and trim, to, to, so you to can, still find that man. You can find your, you know, your meal ticket. But so then a, eventually, you just have to kind of at that certain age age bracket, you just decide to hell with it. If I'm fat, I don't care, and I'm loving myself. Well, well usually after they get the first kid, they got what they want. They feel complete. So then they say, "Okay, I don't need I I don't need this," you know. I guess according to this, a real woman likes to have that burger and fries with you, no fuss, and she can because she wants to, and she will. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Unless unless she's anorexic, then she'll. Then then we got a problem. Well, then she's more girly, I guess. I think there has to be something to do with moderation and stuff too. But but doesn't talk about kids in the article. No, but I think I think you know yeah we can eat anything we want to. You know, it's just don't overindulge. How know? about this? Number seven, girls talk about trivial matters. <laughs> this is funny. This is any girl, uh, any woman, girl, whatever. Uh, girls talk about trivial matters. Women know how to hold a stimulating conversation. Uh, no, no. 
women like to talk about themselves. Girls like to talk about themselves. No, women like to, <laughs> women like to talk about themselves. Girls <laughs> like to talk about everyone else. How's that? Uh, well, according to this, it's the one of the biggest differentiating differentiating factors between men and girls. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> men and girls between women and girls. And uh, basically, it's because most girls aren't up to date on global affairs. They don't have any intellectual hobbies or interests, and their opinions aren't really their own. But they're the opinions of others they heard and uh, basically took, you know, those opinions to be their own. Girls are boring. Women are fascinating. Right. It's true. It's you have to, I mean. Are you fascinating, Cynthia? I, I believe I'm fascinating. You're it's, fascinating. As much as boring. I can be fascinating. I mean, I, I study all kinds of things and, you know, I, I, I believe I'm well spoken, um, you know, but I, you know, I don't spend all my time just, uh, you know, worrying about how I look and. All that kind of stuff. In fact, right now, I probably don't look all that great. But. Well, you're, you're going to do number six, then. You're going to just be watching... Uh, uh, well, no, you. if you're a woman, you like to read, but most girls like to watch stupid, like, you know, listen to this show and watch uh, uh, TMZ on TV. Right. Well, yeah, I mean... You know, women have their shows that they love, like their soap operas, but if you're really a classic uh, uh, woman, not a girl, you actually like to curl up with, you know... Fifty Shades of Grey or a good book. Yeah, you know? sometimes you just want to curl up with a you know good book. You know, well that's supposed to be a porn book, right? Yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, yeah, it's softcore or something like that. I don't so it's, know. It's a little. They it's a like our deal. show here, man. Softcore porn. It has something to do with bondage and all these things. Because you know it's the morning. We don't want to get too. And softcore porn. You what's good with softcore porn? Then Spark. What is it? Sparkman. The, the, the SparkMaker dot com. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, He's throwing in the more plugs. plugs. More plugs from Gentleman G. Thank you, sir. All right. Larry's awake this morning. That's cool. He is awake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In more ways than one, but I won't I won't talk about that. No. Uh seriously. Uh moving along here. Girls, number five, girls can't wait to update their Facebook status to I'm in a relationship. Women don't even know uh, that they even still have their Facebook account. That's an interesting one. What did you say? I'm updating my Facebook status right now. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> little girly woman. <laughs> or just girly girl, I guess. Yeah, basically, women are just too busy trying to pursue their career at, to bother updating Facebook or even being on Facebook. They'll probably do it eventually when they happen to be on there, you know, putting some pictures up with the family. Whereas the girls, it's, you know, got to update it every 10 minutes. I feel like a girl. Because, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my I, God. I have to update my stat. I put, like, 10 articles a day up there, sometimes more. John Taint John just called himself a girl. Yeah, I feel like it sometimes. Well, you know. When I'm, when I'm on Facebook, at least. You got to try it sometime. You know, I, mean, I, I know our, my two producers will attest to that because I, sometimes I put like 20 different things up there. Yeah. Some of them are good. Some, Some of them are good. Yeah. You know, I, I've lost a few friends off of it, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. I think you can just stop. I, I, one of these days I'll actually learn. See, I guess I'm turning into a woman now. I don't really care. Is how do you actually, speaking of that, how in the hell do you block people from, you know, like the updates from seeing people? Like, no, not notifications. On there. But yeah. actually watching all of the people, like if, if, if Gentleman G and you, Cynthia, are posting stuff on my, you know, on, on Facebook and you're my friend, uh -huh. how do I do it so I don't have to see it all the time every I time you know. There's I a think, filter for that, yes. I think Facebook picks a lot of that stuff out. F but here's the thing. If you, you do yeah. that, then, then you... There's, that little, there's a little almost hidden arrow in the upper right of every post, and you click that. And that'll do and what? And you say, I don't want to see posts. Okay, but if you do that, then you don't see anything from the person. I don't That's see this. And right. Well, it, it, yeah, it's almost it's almost cut and dry nowadays. Mm -hmm. that either you see nothing or you see everything. You can't have it all. That, the, all but that's what's weird. I know you we got. You know what I'm saying? You got to have it all. Then, right. Because then, what what what's Facebook to do to decide which ones you see and which ones you don't? That's the part I don't understand, though. If you're going to block it, you you're not seeing anything, though. Right. That's what right. you want. That's. Well, but I like that. seeing stuff from all my friends. I don't care if See, it, I, don't I just turn off the notifications on my email. That's right. annoying when you get notifications on your email. Oh, I hate that. Never make a comment in a public so, forum. I, I, mean, I guess I'm a girly here. You know. I like to update Facebook a lot. Come back anyway, to Anyway, I, I got to get to number four here. Girls go out and get wasted. Women can hold their liquor. <laughs> That's funny. Uh-huh. I didn't read the whole thing because I wanted to be uh, enjoyed on the air. You know, women, uh, you know, they like uh, hounding the table at the clubs and waiting to pounce on the next bottle, you know. And, of course, if you're a woman, you don't do that. Only girls chug down booze, especially right. if they're with guys to it. It's free, you know. It allows them to make their poor decisions by the end of the night. Uh, and it isn't to say that a woman doesn't want to, you know, drink their fair share. They do. Right. They'll have their wine, but they know their limits. Well, I think just after several years of pain, you know, you build up a good tolerance. Yeah. So, to try well, to numb it. I mean, I guess this is like being a gentleman and a lady when you're out in a social yeah, event, you know? I suppose so. 
Uh, number three. You know, real quick, it's, it's kind of a funny. You mentioned you, you talk about getting women drunk and stuff like that. Yeah, number four. You're okay. talking about holding this liquor. Is a, I, I, I got a little si- situation I had a couple years ago. And, and I, let me tell you what happened real quick. If you got time. Did you end up in the yeah. county jail? Well, listen, no. What happened is. We got uh, 10 I, minutes. I, yeah, I see it right there. In 13 seconds. Well, I'm, I just like being the host okay. and you know no. controlling the form. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> can, can, I, can I tell you a quick story? Of, uh, I, I'd love to hear it. Gentlemen, gee, you can't well, just tease us and not well, no, tell I, us. A yeah. cu- cu- couple years ago, I, we were we was down drinking, okay? Mm-hmm. And I was buying this one girl drink, so she was gladly taking every drink I bought her. you know. And then she was a, kind of a mutual friend of the group that we were with. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I bought her more drinks, and she kept drinking them. At the end of the night, this other guy wanted to try hitting on her and, and take her home. Oh. I invested all that money into that alcohol. I, I've given her the drinks. I, you know, I'm Blue like, ball no. Larry over here. Huh? Blue ball gentleman G. No, I, I was like, I had to, I mean, I, I literally had to cock block that guy because I was already buying. I'm not going to get that girl drunk for him. Right. You well, know what I'm saying? She didn't care, apparently. Well, for what? I took her home. I know, but she didn't care if you did or didn't, apparently. She just wanted the drinks. Well, that's what right. I say, but I'm saying I, she, had to, she had to go in there, or he had to go in. He, he got mad at me and then stopped talking to me. Oh, this was a friend of yours. I yeah. thought you said you were going to get in a bar fight or something. No, 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 no. This is you know, it's a mutual group of people that I've I was associated. Why with. Why would he get mad? You were buying he wanted, her the drinks because he maybe thought he was going to get something with her or get somewhere with her. And all right, so I was already investing a, wait, the money th- into this. This isn't a girl or a woman thing. This is a guy or man thing. Yeah, this is like a territory <laughs> issue. Yeah, or territory something. territory with a guy. Not well, the I'm women. just talking. You're talking about the girls Gee, and the women. The girls that was a, that was a girl. Just yeah. taking the alcohol, I, I taking the alcohol. Girl. Yeah, absolutely. If it was a woman, she would have put a stop to that and said, "Hey, nothing. I don't want that, no more." That's only happened to you once. I can say it's happened to me many times. Well, over I'm just saying the whole. You know, you got to know when the the cock block. And I, you know, it's like he's get he got mad at me, and I was the one investing all that money into it and, and time throughout the night. Uh, well, I I guess know? the question is who who is you know pursuing the dating of the girl? I guess is the question. No one was pursuing the dating of her. Okay, who was pursuing taking her home that night? I guess I was, and he was. Oh, yeah, that can get ugly. Well, you know, it I was pretty. That's, that's when the girl needs to become a woman well, and make her decision. Yes, that's she, you she, know, she held her alcohol better. She would have been maybe a little more. I don't know. Keen to what's going on? Maybe she wanted both of you. No. Yeah, no. you know, I think that I sounds think, pretty kinky. No, I think sometimes women. I don't you know, know if I'd want to do that with my friend. No, we need to like. Pass on the drinks. <laughs> no, uh, gentlemen. No. You know, if we don't like who's buying them <laughs> no. for us. Well, yes. yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm ignoring the lady in the room. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm sorry, so, you know. so, 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 well, Larry and I are okay. arguing over you, and we're buying you drinks, and you're getting wasted. What's going to happen when, like, you know, I don't know. I bought you more drinks than he did, or he well, didn't buy you is, any. I bought them all. What are you going to do? Well, the thing is that you have to you have to hold up your end of the deal and cock block me. That's right. Okay. I guess. You know. That's or at least put me in my place. Well, you know, but then I, again, we gotta sure. also see how the lady reacts. If she wants to go with me and not you, that's that's also another subject, right? right? I, I now, guess unfortunately, it, I was the one who took her home and had a good time. Unfortunately for him, I guess. Well, he's yeah. not talking to you anymore. No, so. he got mad. And so you guys are gonna both buy me drinks. Uh, yeah, we're both gonna buy you drinks tonight. And then I'm gonna be walking out here with Danny. And then you're oh! gonna walk out with Danny. Oh <laughs> my God! He didn't have the, he didn't oh, Danny'll be happy. <laughs> he didn't have his uh, speaker, his uh, headphones on. Yeah, he's not listening to us. He's that's not okay. Listening. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm not done with the study yet, but that was actually more interesting than the whole study. But anyway, number three is girls expect you to pay the tab. So speaking of this, here you go. So you didn't let me get to number three. Girls expect you to pay the tab. Women are financially independent. So you were dealing with a girl, gentleman G. Right, that's, that's what I was saying. Definitely a girl. That's, that's what I was saying. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no doubt. So yeah, she uh, and they want you. You know, they expect you. Yeah, right. Nothing is nothing is more nothing is more of a turn on for a guy when a woman will whip out some money at the dinner. And, yeah. and 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 he's offered to pay. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. taking charge. Yeah. Like, well, okay. that's a real. Now that's a woman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's here. Well, that was what she's talking about. They pay the tab, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Number two, girls expect their men to know how they feel and what they're thinking. Okay. Women actually just tell the men how they're feeling and what they're doing. Men cannot read minds, ladies. We wish they could. It would make things a whole lot easier, but they can't. Girls believe that their men should understand them, whatever's going on with the hinting and everything. But, you know, I can speak from experience. Most men just really, really aren't paying that close of attention. <laughs> no offense to you, but, you know, we're guys. We're thinking about football and gambling and doing radio, you know. Right. And porn websites. Porn websites. We're thinking about... <laughs> oh, he... what, what is this about porn <laughs> I, websites? I got to start s- sending him some money, I guess. 
Have I? Yeah. Well, it's not really a porn website. Have I been missing something? It's adult stuff. It's you adult know, stuff. you can buy lingerie on there. I thought and you stuff. said they had presents for the kids. They did. Well, well, I wouldn't they, say for the kids for eighteen w- and over. That was Sparks.com, right? So the, they have the Sparkmaker.com. www.thesparkmaker.com. So presents for women, but not girls. But not girls. Okay. Exactly. Bump okay. a bump a bum. Bump a bump a bum. Here's number one. Girls like to dress in revealing clothes. Woo-hoo. Speaking of the sparkmaker.com, because they think they look sexy. Women know what's sexy, and they don't care whatever. They'll wear sweatpants. True. So that's our, our study of the difference between a girl well, and a man, according I, to Elite Daily. I, I disagree with that statement, because here's the, here's, here's the sad truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's what not, is this politics? No, the gentlemen, sad, I concur. Listen, Je- wait. The sad truth. Are you standing the up? Gentlemen, hey, G. Here's, no. <laughs> listen. Here's the sad. Nay. Here's the sad truth. I hate the sad person. truth is guys will will basically get will hump anything, and just because she's got sweatpants doesn't mean that you know we're, she's more attractive or more full. Well, you full, full of herself. Women who are dressed in sweatpants are more what? Uh, g- secure, whatever you say. Women, women will wear whatever they want. Right, women will because they're secure. You they're said they're more secure in their right. their sexuality and their look. But again, it's it, she's slumming right now when she does that. But the guys will will, will screw anything, so they they don't care. That's what it comes down I, to. I, you know, my advice there you, you is get a, you get a you get an a, a, a ugly chick. If a guy can get with her, he'll get with her. End mm-hmm. of story. Because that's how guys well, are. They're dogs. That's what I was going to say. My advice to the women is, you know. Uh, you know, it's more of just pick who you like, I guess, because your man is not, he's not very, he's not very, uh, you know, right. discriminatory when it comes to going out to the club to meeting the ladies. So, because basically when women wear sweatpants, they, that means they give up. Yeah. They give up. They just don't care. Yeah. They don't, you know, or they're just hot and, enough and they look really hot in uh, sweatpants. No, no, no. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that. It I mean, like chicks when they're wearing those pink sweatpants that are really tight. They're like leggings, but they're really sweatpants. You don't like that? We're talking, I mean... Would you wear them for us? You're not wearing no, them now. You're actually wearing jeans today. I'm wearing jeans. I mean, I, 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 you know, I had to take off the burqa, so... <laughs> the burqa. I mean, you don't wear the sweatpants that say pink on the back of them? I wear a burqa that says pink on the back of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a burqa in that. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. You know, That's interesting. I just study. really don't want them looking, you know. You know, I don't know where Taylor Swift would uh, uh, play into this. If she's yeah, screwing all these different guys every week well, she would have and then pink. writing songs about she them. She would have pink on her ass, and then she would complain people are looking at it. Yeah, well, uh, you know, How she's... How could you do that? You no, know, but she's more... Uh, she would be... I would consider her still a girly because she's... Yeah. I would consider her kind of immature the way she acts about stuff, you know, uh, the way she deals with all these men. She's had success happen very young. Yeah. And I mean, she's, I, and it's again, been in the public. I think she, it said we, even in that article, I think she's only 23 or 24. Was you know? she a Disney girl? No, she was not. No, she she's was not, not. She's not Miley. No. You're thinking of Miley Cyrus. No, but she's kind of hot too. The Miley Cyrus. It is a hard thing. And she's stigma. like a whore, isn't she, she? She went like 80s. Miley Cyrus went 80s. She always sticks her tongue out. Yeah, she likes doing the tongue thing. Yeah. And getting naked. That's Miley. Yeah. And yeah she's she on that ball. Naked on camera. She's on that wrecking ball. She's on the I that's saw, her I song. I saw that video right. a couple yeah. times. I paused it before. You're getting, you're getting Miley mixed up with Taylor. Taylor's more homespun. She, Taylor wears the one piece bathing suit since she was dating a Kennedy. Oh, that was the other one she was dating, the Kennedy. Well, Kennedy, RFK's son. And she does those real glam hairdos and stuff like that. And I think she did the bangs and I don't know. Who knows? But she's you know. swift. She got a swift hair. Yeah. She's got <laughs> that was big news. Like she changed her hair. Yeah. You know? I'm like, I, I don't care. But. I mean, seriously, though, uh, you know, it, the sexist thing. I mean, it's like I never know what to do when I'm, uh, you know, well, I've been in movies, so we do whatever we want. We well, got our fluffers and everything back in the day, but. I'm talking about now when you're going to a club or you're going to a restaurant or wherever you're going to meet women, uh, you know, an event like you're going to the Portage Theater here in Chicago for a big movie premiere and there's all a bunch of girls there, single girls. What I mean, when do you, what do you say? How do you act? Do you do you do you treat them like a woman or do you treat them like you know you're going to take them home and they're screwing every guy on the block? So that's the thing that I always kind of struggle yeah, with. I think it's tricky because you guys will never know. Well, well yeah, you know, that's, a, that's what I'm saying. That's you never my know whole what point. you're dealing with. You know? Well, you know what? Just nothing's more sexy than a girl in a ponytail. Okay, just ponytail, either one big ponytail or the two on the side. I like the and two then, on the side. And then, pigtails. Uh, and then maybe the pigtails. Uh, a uh, uh, pigtails. girl, sc- not girl scout, uh, a cheerleader outfit. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Just I mean, where could you get a good cheerleader outfit? You know what I'm saying? I guess if you're still in high school. Or but I'm saying, there's got to be somewhere to get a good cheerleader outfit. If down you the street here. They have the down fantasy the costume. Here. Hey, we, we need you know, to get money from them. A good sexy cheerleader yeah. costume. Oh, you need to go to the sparkmaker.com, get sex- their sexy lingerie. Yeah, sexy cheerleader. Sexy outfits. cheerleaders just- and lingerie, that's right. 
www.thesparkmaker.com. Check them out for sure. And they have a special going on for the next couple of months during the holidays. Uh, capital F, A C E B O O K 1 4. And go ahead and get your 10% off at thesparkmaker.com. What was that again? thesparkmaker.com. I mean, what was the code? Oh, Facebook, capital F, Facebook 14. So check that out, Larry. I'm going to check it out right now. Get my phone out. Yeah. Everybody, uh, have a great morning. We're going we're gonna to wrap this up, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Best Morning After Ever right here on Simon Internet Radio and Spreaker and all the other places we're at. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter, of course. And until next time, you guys have a great morning.